Hello friends, my name is Muhammad Sohil and today I am going to teach you very important topic that is lymphatic system. So basically there are four basic type of lymphatic system, tonsils, lymph node, spleen and thymus gland. Let's discuss one by one. So first is tonsils. There are three groups of tonsils. Pharyngeal tonsils, palatine tonsils, and lingual tonsils. First, pharyngeal tonsils. It is located near internal opening of nasal cavity. When pharyngeal tonsils enlarged, then it is called adenoid. These adenoids can interfere with normal breathing. Second, palatine tonsils. It is located in each side of the posterior opening of the oral cavity. Then third, lingual tonsils. It is located on posterior surface of tongue. This is the diagram which show tonsils which is pharyngeal, palatine and lingual. Now coming to the second type that is lymph node. Lymph node is also called as lymphatic gland. Lymph node are rounded shape structure. The size of lymph node is small seed to almond size. Generally lymph node are present in group and main group of gland are present in the neck area that is axilla, thorax, abdomen and groin. They are distributed along various lymphatic vessels. In lymphatic vessel, the lymph passes through at least one lymph node before entering the blood. Afferent lymphatic vessels. They carry lymph to the lymph node. Efferent lymphatic vessels. They carry away from the lymph node. The outer covering of lymph node is called capsule and the capsule is made up of dense connective tissue. Inner folding of the capsule form the structure called tabaculi and these tabaculi are the extension of capsule. They divide the node into compartment and this compartment in which lymphatic tissue are present and this tissue consists of lymphocyte and other cells. In lymph node, the rounded structure are present. This rounded structure is called nodules. Lymphatic nodules. Lymphatic nodules in which the dense aggregation of lymphatic tissue. The central area of lymph lymphatic nodules are called lymphocyte. And these lymphocytes are called germinal cortex. And lastly structure that is lymphatic sinuses. These are space between lymphatic tissue and they contain macrophages or network of fibers. Now coming to the functions of lymph node. Lymph node filter out particles including bacteria. They produce lymphocytes, production of plasma protein like globulin. As lymph moves through lymph node, they perform two functions. Activate the immune system. They remove the pathogen from the lymph through the action of macrophages. Now moving forward to the next topic that is spleen. Spleen is the dark purple colored lymphoid structure. Spleen is the lymphatic system organ. Spleen is highly vascularized, mean blood supply in more amount. Spleen is the beam shaped structure. The length of the spleen is approximately about 12 cm. It is present in the abdominal cavity below diaphragm. It is located in the left half of the viscera where it is attached to the outer surface of the fundus part of the stomach. The spleen is also enclosed in a capsule of collagenous tissue and muscle fiber. They together form an elastic covering of the gland. In spleen, majorly two arteries is used for the supply of blood to the spleen. The artery is called splenic artery or branched splenic artery. And another one is vein, which is called splenic vein or branched splenic veins. The upper area of spleen is called capsular area, which is composed of dense connective tissue. There are smooth muscles in very low quantity. The inner folding which is composed of capsular structure called tabaculi. Tabaculi divides the spleen into different compartments. In this compartment lymphatic tissue are present. There are two types of lymphatic tissue. First white pulp and second red pulp. White pulp are present in lymphatic tissue surrounding the artery. Red pulp are present in lymphatic tissue surround the vein. Both white pulp and red pulp consist of fibrous network and it filled with macrophages and RBC and enlarged capacity that connect to veins. Now coming to the functions of spleen. 
Spleen is the reservoir of erythrocytes which are released into the blood circulation at the time of need. It filters the blood instead of lymph. The cells within spleen respond to the foreign particle or substance in blood and destroy worn out RBC. The lymphocyte in the white pulp stimulates in the same manner as the lymph node. Macrophages in the red pulp remove foreign substances and removes worn out RBCs. Now coming to last topic that is thymus. Thymus is the bilobed gland. It is triangular shaped. The weight of thymus is about 10 to 15 gram. The weight is increased till the puberty and then decreased gradually later. It is located in the mediastinum, the partition dividing the thoracic cavity into left and right parts. The outermost covering is called capsule. The inner folding of capsule is the trabeculi and the outer most covering is composed of thin connective tissue. Trabeculi divides each lobe into lobules. The central area is called medulla. Medulla is the central portion of lobules. The peripheral area is called cortex area and this area near capsule and dark area and lymphocyte are present in numerous cavity. Now the function of thymus. It is the site of maturation of T cell that is T lymphocyte and this T cells is reacting with foreign substances.